What's going on guys? It is Michael here, back with another video. And what I wanted to talk about today is weightlifting shoes. And I get questions on which shoe is the best for weightlifting all the time. And also, some people will make fun of me, like people that don't lift, like girls or you know guys that just don't go to the gym often. And they'll think I am an idiot for having a pair of shoes that I designate just for the gym. And when you think about it, weightlifting is a sport and we have shoes for all of our sports. And keep in mind, when I say weightlifting, I really mean compound movements like the deadlift or the squat or the overhead press, whatever. And let's start with an example of a shoe that is bad for weightlifting. And that is any shoe like this with air in the back of it. You know, it's got a lot of compression and that's really not going to give you good balance. And what you want in a weightlifting shoe is a shoe that is flat right up against the ground with not a lot of compression like this. So these really aren't the best. If you like them for running, that's great. I think these are just a regular pair of Nikes that I bought a long time ago. So what I'm trying to say here is the best weightlifting shoe is this. And it's not even a shoe, it's a sock. This is what I prefer to lift in, but let's say your gym doesn't allow you to wear socks, which my gym doesn't. I go to a YMCA and they always yell at me if I just take my shoes off and wear socks. And again, the whole point of just wearing socks is my feet are right up against the ground and there's not going to be anything between the ground and my feet. So I'm really stable, which is good. And I think Mark Ripito says this. If you guys don't know who he is, he's the author of Starting Strength, a great book. I'll put a link down below in the description. And he says, if you're doing deadlifts and squats or overhead presses with shoes like this, it's kind of like training on top of a mattress, and that's really true. You know, if you've got all of this compression, you're gonna be wobbly and uneven. But let's say your gym is like mine, and they're like, hey, you have to wear shoes. What are your options? In my opinion, the best option is this right here. Converse Chuck Taylor All-Stars. These are good, and they're only around $35, so really cheap. They can fit into everyone's budget. And yes, it does look a little weird wearing Converse to the gym, but again, these are flat right up against the ground, so they give you a lot of stability and support. And if you wanna buy something else, and some people hate on these, some people don't, I have some toe shoes, Vibrams, Vibrams, whatever. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. And these are the five finger shoes, and people will always say, hey, why do you wear those shoes? Those shoes look stupid and retarded, whatever. But in my opinion, I go for functionality. I could care less what they look like. You know, I would wear clown shoes in the gym if they helped me perform better. And that's ultimately what I want. I want to make some gains. And finally, another type of shoe that is popular is one like this. This is an actual weightlifting shoe. And the thing with this is it has an elevated heel. And these really help you on squats and a lot of Olympic lifts. If your heel is elevated, you know, I'm sure you guys have heard it all the time. Like, Sometimes people will say, why don't you try to stand on some five pound plates when you squat? And the whole reason for that is it actually gives you more ankle flexibility and it really allows you to push through your heel. Now, this is the Adidas, I have no idea what kind, but they have two kinds. They have the Addy Power, and I think these are the Addy Trainers. And what I did was I started with these, which are the cheaper ones, to make sure I like lifting with an elevated heel and I used these for about eight months and I really liked them. So I decided to upgrade to the Addy Powers. These are probably my personal favorites, but they're both pretty good. So really, I can't say what the best weightlifting shoe is, but if you're a beginner and you're just starting out, maybe deadlifting and squatting for the first time, in my opinion, the best weightlifting shoe is the Converse Chuck Taylor. Like I said, it's cheap, you can't go wrong with it, and I think they look pretty cool, but that's just me. And that's pretty much all I wanted to say for this video, so I hope this one helped you guys out. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. I will try my best to put out more videos on a consistent basis. I'm actually really busy with school, taking a lot of classes this semester, and that kind of sucks. But if you guys want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, all of those links are down below in the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you... There's the gain train. Gain train. G-A-I-N. Okay? Gain train. Like strength, muscle gains. I'm sure you guys get it. See ya.